Oh yeah, we're brother and sister, That's and right. um, we've worked together on uh, numerous projects, both in the music world and in film. Yeah. Did, you, did you grow up, I mean, obviously you grew up together, but did you grow up with common interests in film and music? Actually, yes. Mm -hmm. I think that more or less. They were unknown. I think yeah. a lot of the uh, really important passions were kind of not spoken. I mean, we got into music originally, and uh, we both had this burning passion to do film and acting, for me in particular. And that took some years to, to flourish and to show itself. But mm -hmm. yeah, we've always had parallel paths. I'm the only actress in the film, and uh, it's basically more like a piece of poetry than um, any kind of relationship, a uh, short about relationship. So, and it's just a message that I wanted to convey, and so it's just a short little piece. So tell us about the movie. Mm. Sure. It's um, basically about uh, kind of discovery within, and I think finding, finding inner wisdom. And uh, that's something that, you know, I think a lot of people struggle with looking outside in the world and trying to, you know, decide what, what they prefer, you know, uh, concerning religion or, you know, what they're thinking. And I think it's important to, to look within to find kind of your own soul's wisdom. So that's what, that's what it's really about. I felt that it was kind of complete in a sense that... Um, I think she finds peace at the end, and I think I think really the the kind of maybe the last minute is silence. Really, right? Because we do go to white, and that's a bit of a clue. I think of some kind of unity uh, that the character finds. Exactly. Um, yeah. So there's an element of that, mm -hmm. and it, since it is a dream as well, it's uh, it is a bit surreal, and it's uh, not the typical kind of me medium. You know, but uh, yes, I think it, it's a natural ending to go to white and to to cap the dream. And incidentally, what was your role? Tell us about your role in this movie. Well, interestingly enough, I was the DP out of necessity and not out of ability because I'm primarily a actor, but Jen needed someone to work the camera, and so I happily did that. And so it was a two-man crew, star. Yeah, that's DP. it. <laughs> it was very small. Yes, and so, uh, but it was it was lovely. We did two days, and um, had to find the right timing where the wind wasn't blowing Jen around on the lake yeah. to do it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got it. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So having not known a lot about technical uh, processes in shooting film, it was pretty instinctual. It had to be very instinctive. Uh, work to get what we needed. It was beautifully shot. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. And beautifully acted, too. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you very that, much. That struck me. And a lot of that, really, the way we shot it was uh, Jennifer had already worked out the storyboards. So a lot of it was just me trying to match those images, which made it a lot easier. And shooting in nature is so much easier because nature is beautiful. Right. They don't, it doesn't need a lot of lights or makeup, and it's ready to go. Yeah. Good soundstage. Yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Um, and tell me, where did you make this movie? Why or where? 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 We shot it at uh, a place called Pyramid Lake, and it's um, everyone's surprised to hear the, this, uh, this answer, but it's actually an hour north of Los Angeles. And it's a very beautiful place, and uh, a lot of people don't know about it. Yeah, it's so. a real gem. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. It's very beautiful. They'll know now. Yes, they will. Yes, they will, <laughs> absolutely. And um, if you can tell me, why did you make this film? Mm. Why? I think at first it was uh, more or less a stream of consciousness as I was writing it, and, uh, but it really is something that I wanted to, something, a, a message that I, I really care about. And, you know, I think it's something that's constantly on my mind, and uh, I wanted to share to the rest of the world and hopefully convey uh, some kind of uh, hope. And you say yeah. it's something that you're very concerned about. Would you tell us, tell us what that is? Sure. Um, basically, it's, uh, I think, you know, with a lot of uh, media that's out there and, uh, you know, television and commercials, and you can really get caught up in what everyone else is doing. And uh, I even get caught up in, in looking here and there and uh, seeing what everyone else is doing instead of kind of 
looking within and just thinking for myself and uh, feeling what I should be doing or how I want to, uh, what I really care about. So that's that's really what it's about. Yeah, it's, almost like there's an um, unconscious need for something uh, that speaks to all of us on a deeper level that's not intellectual, it's not even emotional necessarily, it can be. But hopefully it's something that's not just for the artist to enjoy, but for other people to find something mm -hmm. in it for them. And that was the, also a very important purpose to the film. Yeah. And there are things that, that you're producing that I would call counterculture? Very much. Yes. Very much. Yeah, absolutely. And that seems to be very in tune yeah. with this festival in particular. Um, and it's wonderful to see that film uh, in front of a genuine audience who's receptive very, and very much. willing. And even uh, during the Q&A, they mentioned how much they needed to see it. Well, that's unexpected and lovely to hear. Yeah, it was wonderful. The reception we've had has been absolutely wonderful, and I'm glad it has been moving people. So yeah. that's, that's a real treat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's a good sign that you're on the right path. Yeah, I hope absolutely. so. <laughs> yes, yeah. very much. It, it seems as though... Uh, in the same vein of being counterculture or mainstream, mm -hmm. in independent filmmaking, we have that same differentiation. Those like yourselves who, maybe you're on a mission of sorts? I think so. I think everyone yeah. has their own mission in life, and it's important to find your own. And I've certainly been finding mine over the last, especially 10 years since I was first in the music industry, and it wasn't fulfilling enough. And I worked as a dancer and an actress, and. Um, Everything, it just wasn't quite enough, and I think I've finally been finding my voice, so I think everyone needs to, needs to find theirs. This was really. the one where I felt, having an objective perspective seeing it, since I, I didn't write it, you know, I was witnessing all of this, um, where I felt that Jenny was developing that voice. It's wonderful to see as a sibling, but uh, also to see someone as an artist getting a sure footing and, and finding something unique and something organic. and. Um, kind of effortless at the same time. It's marvelous. Do you have another uh, consciousness movie in mind? Um, not, not at the moment. Uh, but I am working on a feature at the moment uh, about regional theater. So it's, it, it's, a, it's a topic that's interesting nowadays. It's kind of questions whether or not uh, theater is relevant in the states and if it will continue to go on mm -hmm. so i'm kind of focusing on that at the moment but you I never know i think we're thinking in order to get back next year we ought, we ought to have something worthy so that's well, definitely for on sure the <laughs> yeah um, so you don't have a project um, in mind for next year but you know that it has to do with waking people up perhaps mm. perhaps yes <clears throat> Pardon me. there was a gentleman i was talking to last night at supper and it's the story about autism. Mm. Oh, wonderful. And he spoke with passion and conviction in wanting to wake people up to the fact that people who are autistic are not handicapped and they have something to contribute. Right. And that, again, touches on the subject of consciousness. Yes. Absolutely. Very much. I think part of yeah. what uh, calls the actor or artist to their life's vocation is. It could be unconscious, but I think it is that sense of wanting to wake up uh, in, in some regard, even if you're not aware of it. And so I think it's wonderful if a project is very specifically attuned to that, like in the lake, although that wasn't, um, I don't think that was too present in your mind. That was something that came naturally. Mm -hmm. But I think we all are waking up, and certainly an actor's um, life, an artist's life is very, in, in a sense, easier to that fact because it's always present. If you really love it, I think if you're a true actor, or true artist, um, that's never far from your mind. Mm -hmm. Well, you are um, two leaders in the consciousness movement. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Absolutely. Uh, I won't digress on that. So, um, goodness, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the audience? Um, Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully gently, maybe. But, <laughs> gently. Um, I don't know, and Wake I don't even know gently. if we're the ones responsible or even uh, authorized to do that. You know, I, I don't think so. Um, no. But uh, I would like to say that Sedona and everyone here has been so wonderful and welcoming and warm and extremely genuine and it has been very special, very special time. Yeah. Truly Indeed. unforgettable, Indeed. Yeah. hospitable people.